Good morning, Poke fans. Welcome back to a brand new video. My name is Matt, and welcome to 2024. And, magically enough, Season 14. So, there's going to be a lot of things that is going to be coming our way, and I'm hoping you guys are here to enjoy the ride. I do apologize for not releasing anything for the last couple of days. I was really, really hoping that it would start on January 1st, but then I forgot it starts on January 4th. So, we're going to be doing some casual matches today, and we'll be using a brand new team. The regional team is up and ready to go, so we are going to be trying that out on Saturday, and I'm super excited. But we're not here for that. I'll give you the details on that much more later in the week. Possibly even Sunday, or maybe Monday the following week, so that I can tell you how the results went, depending on how Sunday goes. <laughs> Anyways, without further ado, let me introduce you to the team. For season 14, we're going to be using a brand new team lineup. We will still be using Tailwind, but it'll have a Sun influence. As you can see here, a lot of these Pokemon have Protosynthesis, and I'm hoping that it comes out in the end. So, without further ado, Gouging Fire. Gouging Fire is a Dragon Fire type Pokemon with a Fire type Terra. He is completely built. Uh, let me pull up his stats real quick here. Yeah. He is built 4 HP, 252 in attack, and 252 in speed. Uh, nature is currently set to Adamant. With his uh, Flare Blitz, Dragon Claw, Ancient Power, and Crunch. I did have Temper Flare, but I'm going to try Flare Blitz for our first run through just to kind of see what he has or what it has to offer. And the item that we have put him with is the Assault Vest. The Assault Vest is going to boost his special defenses by 50% and it makes it so that he doesn't take as much damage to special attacks. Essentially what the Assault Vest does with just boosting your special defense. Anyway, so how he's built, he's got 181 HP, 183 uh, physical attack, 141 defenses, 76 special attack. That's going to be low because he is adamant. Uh, special defense at 113 without the Assault Vest, and it's going to be 143 with the full investment into speed. Protosynthesis is going to be boosting up our physical attack, thankfully, because, well, I don't think HP can be boosted, but it is going to be really, really high to deal with with this Pokemon. We're going to give it a try for the week that he is going to be available in not only casual, but also the rank ladder that starts in a couple of days. Whimsicott, someone that I used in the game earlier, and the EV stats is about 252 in HP, bringing it up to 167, 252 in speed, bringing it up to 184, and four in special attack. It's not necessarily supposed to be like a physical attacker. As a matter of fact, it's not really supposed to do any damage at all. We have Protect, Sunny Day, Tailwind, and Taunt with Timid for the Nature. We want to set up Sunny Day. We also want to set up Tailwind. We also want to shut down all the other Pokemon that could possibly use uh, setups. So that's why we have Taunt. And then we have Protect in case if we need to go back and forth to uh, work several different things. Now, Whimsicott is incredibly frail and will be taken out very easily through most Tornadoes. Terra is set to Fairy so that it can survive more than one hit. But it's going to be it's, it's going to be really, really hard. Uh, we have the focus sash on her so that way we don't have to worry about uh, getting knocked out right away. Really should say he, but uh, we have the focus sash so that we live with one hit so that we can get off like a sunny day, tailwind, or taunt, or even protect the following turn. Walking Wake, who was used a lot in the ladder, the casual ladder when it was first released, like the week one of the game almost two years ago, I think. I'm not 100% sure, but um, for Walking Wake, we have the... 252 in special attack and speed with the four uh, EVs in HP. Bring it up to 175, 92, 111, 194, 103, and 161. Modest is the nature, and we start out with Hydro Steam, Weather Ball, Draco Meteor, and Snarl. And we gave him choice specs so that he could do a lot more damage. Now you might ask yourself, well, why, why this set? I want to try it out, and I think it's the best way to try out at 252 so that you can kind of see what people are playing and then kind of work around it. Now, he is choice specs, which means he's not going to be doing hardly anything outside of maybe two or three attacks. He's not going to be able to sit there and spam Snarl unless I need Snarl to be activated. Weather Ball or even Draco Meteor or Hydro Steam. 
Now, if Sun's activated, Hydro Steam is going to be really, really good. And Weather Ball will actually be proven really, really good as well. I can only pick one attack, so I have to be very, very careful of what I pick. Fluttermane. We all know who Fluttermane is and how she goes. We did recently change how we trained her. So we do have 252 in HP and 252 in special attack. And I think I have four points in, in something else. I don't really have have anything in, in it because like the only other thing I could probably add is, you know, maybe um, defense. But uh, we'll just keep it as that just to kind of create like a uh, a barrier, not a barrier, um, a, a thing, a thing. Yeah, a thing. <laughs> a, uh, a, a borderline. So we're just kind of keeping everything kind of evened out and see how everything goes. Currently attacks with Moonblast, Shadow Ball, Dazzling Gleam, and it's supposed to be Protect. Uh, we'll go ahead and switch that out real quick. So we have Moonblast, Shadow Ball, Dazzling Gleam, and Protect with the Life Orb item with the Terra Fire, and that is to resist any and all heavy slams that come our way and dealing with uh, Golden Goats. We want to make sure that we live in case if we need to swap out and make other choices. And we want to make sure that we can take full advantage of our Pokemon this way as well. Uh, I know that might not mean a whole lot, but with Timid Nature, I'm hoping that the speed is going to be just fine with Tailwind being up and with Sunny Day. I just have to be very, very careful of what I activate first. I might do Sunny Day first and then go into Tailwind, depending on who we find on the other side of the ladder, or we just activate the sun and hope for the best. Uh, Great Tusk, who was used earlier in the season. We do have a full invested uh, Great Tusk, which I believe has four in uh, HP, but we do have 252 in attack and 252 in speed with the Choice Scarf. We want to be able to outspeed all the Pokemon that's right in front of us. We have Rock Slide to spam that if we need to. Terrifier to resist the uh, Will-O-Wisp, but Knock Off, Headlong Rush, and Close Combat to kind of round out all the other stats and attacks that it could possibly use. Its attack is going to be the one that is boosted, but it should do a lot of damage depending on what happens on their side of the field. Again, I'm really hoping that Rock Slide does a lot of damage because otherwise it's going to be it's going to be very very interesting uh, to our opponents that try to fight up against us. And lastly, Mouse Hold with a Terra Ghost and a uh, Friend Guard ability with leftovers, we also bring in Super Fang, Follow Me, Sunny Day and Protect. We're bringing in this build so that we can one, lower down our opponent's HP quite a bit with one move. We can also outspeed most moves, even though it doesn't get a, sp a speed boost in Sun, it can also set Sun so we can use that to our advantage. We also have access to Follow Me. We'll di redirect attacks over to this character and with Friend Guard lowering down the attack by a quarter, should be really, really good to use. The uh, EVs that we're using is 252 in HP and speed with Tibbet Nature. So we lower its attack, which you don't really care because we have Super Fang that drops it in half. That is not based on any attack stat. And we have a four in regular defense so that we get just a little bit more of a bump in uh, that slot there. Now, that is the team that we're working with. I am not 100% sure how it's going to be played. It looks great on paper, but I'm not 100% sure how it's going to turn out. So which is why we're going to be testing that out here. And hopefully, hopefully we have uh, a lot to go with. Now, if you guys have any questions, go ahead and leave it down in the comments down below. Or if you guys want the team uh, directly, uh, probably list it in the comments. That way you could just, you know, copy it like I would for like Pokemon Showdown or any of the calcs that are out there. That way you can kind of see the team and then your own calcs and stuff like that without further ado let's get into our matches and let's see how the team works shall we i'm excited okay so with our very first time using these pokemon i'm kind of excited how it's going to be i think everyone's gonna obviously tell that this is a sun team but i'm hoping that they won't notice that uh, i have pokemon here that is going to be able to take advantage of certain typings now i do see vaporeon on that side of the field i kind of wish i didn't take away uh, Thunderbolt now, but unfortunately, I don't have it. So, um, let's see. Let's go ahead and bring out Mousehold. Because they have Hatterini. So, 
probably will set up some sort of trick room. Uh, great tusk. And we'll bring out gouging fire. That way we can kind of withstand some of those fairy attacks. Now we also do have access to our Terra, so I'm hoping for the best here. I don't think I'm gonna have to deal with Trick Room, but in the event that I do, Whimsic Cut would not be a good set in here. Okay, Hatterany and Grimmsnarl. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do Sunny Day. And I'm gonna go right into... Would be best to go Moonblast or Shadow Ball? I think Shadow Ball might be the best for uh, Hatterene. We'll kind of ignore... Oh, Taunted. Can't use Sunny Day, that's fine. There goes Hatterini, which was probably going to set up some sort of trick room. I don't care if uh, Mousehold is uh, taunted. That's why we have Super Fang. Here comes Oricorio. I don't think they have Fake Out, but in the event that they do, um, I can't protect. So let's go ahead and hit that guy. And I'm just gonna go ahead and... Oh, you're fire. Interesting. You know what? Let's moon blast into uh, Grimmsnarl. Oh, it's a good thing I didn't go into that slot. Light screen. Super cool with that. But um, if this hits, this is gonna hurt a lot. Yep, there it goes. Drops your, H your HP by half. Here comes the Moonblast right into that slot. It is going to get the KO. And this is why Mousehold is faster than Fluttermane. Specifically, Mousehold's speed is 179 with a full investment, which is why I have it that way. <laughs> uh, how long are we taunted? We are on taunt one more turn. Um, Let's go... Okay, I'm not sure why I just auto like set to that. Um, let's go ahead and hit the Volcarona with that. And Shadow Ball and to Volcarona, why not? Here comes uh, Super Fang, drops it by half. Flame Body burns Mouse Hole, which is totally fine. Burn him, do all the things. Here comes Shadow Ball though. Right into the Volcarona. Does not get the KO. Interesting. Here comes Citrus Berry though. Oh, the Wiki Berry, okay. Okay. Revelation Dance, I don't know what that is. Uh, not, not too tough. Fiery Dance. On to the Mouse Hole, does not get the KO though. Special Attack Rose. Oh, he also. He copies the attack? Oh, dope. Okay. Okay. Heal up a bit. Now here comes the burn. This is right back where we need to be. Mousel took off the taunt. Who's in the back? Okay. Let's go ahead and activate Sunny Day. And I'm gonna protect here on Fluttermane. Activate the sunny day. Let's see. Oracorio, huh? Revelation dance. Misses the Fluttermane. Over dance. There's the plus one to speed. So now they're right they're right now outspeeding me. Oh, and Dancer. Oh, that's neat. Okay. I see you. I see you. Plus one. 
would make it so they do outspeed me. I'm going to go ahead and do follow me. And then I'm going to go ahead and use Shadow Ball on the Volcarona. I became the center of attention. Owie. Owie! Fiery Dance. Is going to knock down the Fluttermane, but that's okay. We weren't able to do a whole lot. I mean, we were. Don't get me wrong. Um, this Dancer ability. That's so... So rough. Um, but we still have access to our Terra. Gouging Fire and Great Tusk. Okay. Photosynthesis goes off. Great Tusk is now going to tear up. We're going to Rock Slide. It's going to hit both. And I'm going to hit uh, Oricorio with the Inch of Power. Now, this could work into our favor. They only do have the plus one. And I have Scarf on... Uh, great test. I might outspeed even with them having the plus one. But we'll see. They're gonna Terra. It's gonna go to Oricorio. Terra normal. Okay. Removes the effectiveness of a uh, rock slide. But I'm also going to become fire so that I don't get burned with flame body. Alluring voice. Rock Tusk misses the Valkyrie, but it will hit the Oricorio. Psychic. Hits the Great Tusk. N oh, it's enough to knock out. It is a plus two. Power. Not enough to knock out that Pokemon, but Light Screen did wear off. Let's go ahead and Valkrona. Now his special defense has got a boost, but it was only a plus one. Revelation Dance, but the plus one has helped that team quite a bit. Uh, oh, there's the Quiver Dance again. Dancer activates. I didn't realize that he just copied everyone else's thing. That's dope. I wonder if I'll see that on Saturday. Dragon Claw. Down goes Falcarona. It's unfortunate, though, because I do not have Tailwind, and they've pretty much got this. Um... Yeah, we'll strike and claw. Revelation dance. Bop. And I go down. Not bad. Not bad. So, obviously, I think the first turn was going to be the Hatterini. But as soon as they brought out the Volcarona, I should have taken them down immediately. But I didn't really have a choice. Uh, <laughs> as soon as, like, they got through Quiver Dance, it was kind of hard. It was immediately hard. But I do immediately regret not having Thunderbolt. If Thunderbolt was there, that Oricorio would have been taken down. So maybe not having Protect is uh, is kind of good. I think maybe switching Walking Wake, maybe give him the Life Orb and Protect and put Fluttermane back to where it was. Not 100%. We'll keep trying. Uh, let's get into our next match. Okay. So we got Empoleon, Incineroar, Rillaboom, Landorus, Iron Hands, and Fluttermane. Whew. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Um, what is like the best thing that I can do here? Uh, I think having a special attacker come out first. Be best. With the walking wake. And we'll bring in Fluttermane. And I want to try out more of 
gouging fire. Yes, I want to try out gouging fire more. I also want to make sure that I can counter most of their Pokemon. Fluttermane especially, I want to try to counter as much as possible. Now, if they bring out anyone that has Fake Out, I immediately have to protect on on um, Winsicott. Because, like, like right now, I have to immediately uh, to go into Whimsicott. Um the, the crappy thing is here, I have both Pokemon that it's going to be, like, really, really bad against. Especially for Walking Wake. Um... Uh, switch to gouging fire. Gouging fire is still fire dragon. He's not. He's gonna be neutral to Fluttermane. I just have to protect first and be able to withstand a fake out. Moonblast. Will not take that gouging fire. Heavy slam. We'll go into the protect, but it does nothing. Okay, so now that we've missed or withstood that, we'll go ahead and activate Tailwind. And then I will activate. I kind of want to do Terra Fire. But what am I going to do? Might be thinking I'm switching out to something. Let's make myself impervious. No. I'll just go straight into Fluttermane. With Drew Iron Hands, here it comes Incineroar. Incineroar or Rillaboom? Probably Incineroar. Yep, there he is. Minus one the attack, it's fine. I activate Tailwind. Flare Blitz. Into the Flutter Main. Just enough to survive. Moonblast. Right into the Whimsicott. I will also survive. Swap out. I have a fake out user in front of me. I have to be very, very careful what I do now. I wish I brought in Great Tusk now because he would have been able to get through this in Cinderor, but fortunately he's not in here. Walking Wake is special base, so that's good. I do have Tailwind active, so I'm kind of biding my time. Right now, I do see a, a flaw in my team, though. I don't have a lot of, like, types I can withstand a lot of the type that this guy has, but I'll see if I can maneuver around it. They withdrew Flattermane, which is totally fine. Here comes Landris. More Intimidate. So he's got two Intimidators, Flattermane, and... Uh, And Iron Hands. Okay, gotcha. Knock off. Does not work on Whimsicott. I'm gonna activate Sunny Day. And let's go ahead and activate the uh, Dazzling Gleam. Fake Out can't do anything now. Probably will want to swap out to maybe do something else. But I'm activating Sunny Day to help with the rest of the team that's in the back. What are you going to do? Dazzling Gleam is neutral now to uh, Incineroar, so this should do a lot. Turn Harsh, 
activate Burrow Synthesis. Special attack was heightened. And because I have Hill Wind up, does not get the KO, but does really, really close. You turn on the Whimsicott, does get the KO. It's going to bring out either one of the other three. Probably Iron Hands. And what are you going to do, Incineroar? off i'm okay with that you can knock off the life orb that's totally cool with that i am absolutely a-okay with that i'm gonna go it's probably gonna swap out incineroar but i'm gonna terra i'm gonna hit the incineroar and I'm gonna, well, it's probably gonna get faked out. Swap. Yeah, Incineroar is probably gonna, not Incineroar, but uh, Iron Head's probably gonna do fake out. And I have no way to protect it. So what I'm gonna do is swap him out again. Which is really anticlimactic, um, <laughs> but it's the best option that I have because I don't want Fake Out to come out because Walking Wake's kind of frail. Uh, even though I could do, I could still do a lot with uh, these two, but is it coming up? Yep, there's that Fake Out. I knew it. I knew it. Called it. Citrus Berry activates on Incineroar. Parting shot on the Fluttermane. Pivoting, 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 pivoting. This video is gonna be long. Super long. These are good matches, and this is just casual. Two more days before the uh, thing comes up. That's dope. Probably when you guys see this, it'll probably like be one more day, I'm not sure. What are main? Okay. I think speed was heightened on that guy. I'm gonna protect on um, Fluttermane. Which are the Iron Hands? Brings out the Incineroar or the Landris? Probably the Landris. Up Incineroar. Dropping the attack already. Protect on their side. Ooh, protect on my side too. Let's go. Flare Blitz. Right over to Incineroar. Not very effective, but it is enough to get the KO. With a crit, let's go. Then I knock myself out too. Uh, almost, almost. I survived by a hair, just by a hair. Okay, Landris.
Um, you know what? We're just gonna flare blitz, and I'm gonna. No, I can't protect here, right? Is I already protected? You know what? We'll try it. Double protect. Nah, it fails. I tried. Moonblast into the Fluttermain. Okay. I mean, speed was heightened. I couldn't do anything. Stomping Tantrum. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Come on out, Walking Wake. You got this. How long do I have for sun? Sun lasts for one more turn. Let's go ahead and take out the Fluttermane. 161 might outspeed me. I know the Fluttermane will, but I'm I don't know if uh Landers will. That's my question. With Drew, here comes uh, Iron Hands. It's looking pretty, really nice. Ooh, protect. You called it. I can't get through that hydro steam. If only I hit the iron hands. That would have been a good read. And unfortunately, I think that's going to be it. Fake out's going to come in and stun. Fluttermane definitely outspeeds uh, walking weight. Take out. Yep. Saw that. Comes the Moonblast. Ah, oh, special attack fell. Unfortunate. Good game, but uh, was not able to out outdo that one. Okay, Ugh. not bad for a second fight. Three versus it was three versus one though, but it's obviously I would have been able to do a lot more if I had Great Tusk, being able to outspeed the faster Pokemon. But uh, all right, let's get into our our next match here. How 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 how. <laughs> How now, brown cow? Okay. Um, we brought in Whimsicott. Let's do let's do Mousehold this time. I don't see anyone that could really outspeed me. Uh, Iron Crown is uh, something different. My buddy JT was telling me about him. So we'll need to watch out for that guy. Um, let's bring Mousehold, Great Tusk, uh, Walking Wake, and Fluttermane, just in case if we need to have some more coverage. I mean, Groudon's on that side of the field. Maybe I don't have to set the sun. Uh, Urshifu was also on that side. Like, it was really weird. It had Urshifu, uh, Cerulege, Groudon, Zacian, Eternius. Or Etern Eternius or Eternatus? I don't know. Groudon, Urshifu, which is a rapid strike? Hubble, what? Here comes the drought. What are you doing? This is so weird. Okay, we're gonna follow me over here in the mouse hold. And I think I'm just gonna just straight up do some knockoff on the Both of that would work. Not very effective. Not very effective. Both would work, I think. Um, I 
Knock off on the Groudon. I want you to fight Mousehold. Knock off. Bop! Uh, salt Vest goes away. Trailblaze. It's a mouse hold, but it. Urshifu goes up one stage. First of all, Blade hits both. Mouse hold barely survives. Holding on by just the skin of his little teeth teeth. Uh, we're gonna protect on uh, mouse hold there. I'm gonna swap. That hits Urshifu like a lot. Protect on mouse hold. We're going to hit the uh, Urshifu with knockoff. Here we go. Probably Mystic Water. Protective pads. Okay. I mean, that's fine. Hit one time. Solar beam. Oh, this is gonna go right into a uh, great test. That's yeah, super effective. <laughs> there was like nothing I could have done there, guys. Like, this is Groudon. Groudon's not even illegal. <laughs> Dude's broken. <laughs> Just straight up broken. Okay. Let's activate these real quick. And Walking Wake is going to go ahead and hit Groudon and Moonblast. Actually, we're just going to go Dazzling Gleam on hit both sides. Now, Urshifu does have a plus one. Oh, never mind. He did. He he had plus one to his speed, so obviously that wasn't outspeeding any of my guys. He's kind of slow-ish. Here comes Hydra Steam. Right into that crowd on. Now instead of Life Orb, I could do the Pixie Plate or Fluttermane if the main attacking moves are going to be like Dazzling Gleam, but I really do think about switching those attacks around. Here comes Iron Crown and someone else. I don't know what that is. Zashin. Yay. Fork Drive activates due to booster energy and speed was heightened. Okay. I'm gonna hit Zashin. I'm gonna go straight for Iron Crown, but I'm gonna Terra. And I'm going straight for Walking Wake. I should probably hit the, the Flutter Main, but I'm not, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Tycon Cutter. Uh, okay, hit two times. Oh, thank God. Comes Shadow Ball. And bop. It is a one hit KO, but Flutterman goes down, I think, for the life orb damage. Yep, there it goes. Hydro Steam. Terra Water. In the sun. One hit KO on the Z. He's so huge. Why is Zashian so huge? He big boy. You big boy. But hey, we got our first victory. Obviously, we do have some things that we can learn there. Uh, a lot of things we could learn there. Um, I can't think of any. Maybe not so many choice items. Or maybe better moves. <laughs> Freaking great tusk. I'm not, I have knockoff. I mean, knockoff's pretty good, right? Right, guys? It was, it was handy. <laughs> Let's get into our next match. I'll get more information at the end when I can process it a little bit. Okie dokie. Ooh, all right. Raging Bolt, uh, Metagross, Incineroar, Dusclops, uh, Amoongus, and Landorus. 
incarnate form and not therian form okay we're probably looking at like a heavy trick room build that's a little bit more offensive with like some redirection we're definitely going to want to bring in mouse hold uh i want to say great tusk would be really really helpful here we're not going to want to terra with with that guy uh walking wake and we'll bring in gouging fire we'll leave flutter main in the back Although I really do think it would be really, really helpful against Dusclops. But if I have to deal with the Incineroar again, we kind of saw what, what happened last time, right? I think this four will be good. See, what happened last time was I wasn't able to knock anyone out. But with uh, Metagross being out there, we have like a huge weakness to Fluttermane. I don't think they have Levitate anymore. If they have Levitate, that's a really cool Pokemon choice. Let's double check that. This is Steel Psychic type. And here's Steel uh does not he has clear body and light metal so clear body stops uh stats going down right yes he his stats can't be lowered okay that's good to know dusclops and metagross okay so dusclops is a ghost type pokemon so my moves on a mouse hold isn't going to be very very useful but I could still do Sunny Day. And that's going to set up for other things. And I can knock off the uh, Evia Light from the Dust Clots. This should do a ton of damage. I don't care necessarily if Tailwind goes off. Or, um, I mean, sorry, Trick Room. Uh, it is going to suck for Great Tusk. Don't get me wrong. But it is going to be very helpful full because i could just you know start doing stuff uh metagross though is kind of interesting i don't know what he's gonna do maybe a salt vest build with your metagross sent out someone i don't know mungus okay knock off it's the uh, dust Cop super effective and there goes the evil light activate sunny day I was hoping Sunny Day would go first, but it is not. Um, there's Trick Room. But it is not um, Prankster. So I get that. Uh, we're going to go ahead and bring up Gouging Fire. And I'm locked into Knock Off. Let's go ahead and... Knock off a Moongus. Gouch and Fire comes in next. Now Walking Wake's got 161 and Gouch and Fire's got 143. Spore goes into Gouging Fire. Well, I'm okay with that. The Slops uses Will O Wisp. I'm not okay with that. I should have tear it, but I didn't. But that's okay. Knock off. Citrus berry goes away. Um, let's go ahead and use crunch on Desclops. And I'm just going to keep Great Tusk out there. And I'm going to hit the Dust Clops again. Now I have to have my turn of sleep. Well, no, I had my turn of sleep because uh, Amoongus did Spore first. So I did have him. That's right. So Metagross comes back out. Nightshade goes over to Gouging Fire. Gouging Fire is asleep. Here comes knockoff. It's not very effective against the uh, Desclops, but he's burnt. There was a way to get burnt off. Be a little bit better. But we're going to flare blitz that guy. And I'm just going to continue doing my thing with uh, Desclops there. Because he, he can only really hit in between the two. He can hit Gouge and Fire and maybe knock him out. But he's had two turns of sleep now, so he should be waking up here pretty quick. Unless he gets lucky enough to get five full turns of sleep, which 
Boy, you got lucky. Here comes the Terra. And it's on the Metacross. Becomes fire. Okay. Up in hand. Heavy slam. Dodging fire woke up. Fire, uh, flare blitz. Ooh, that's still a lot of damage. That's still a lot of damage. Knock off. Super effective. Brings it down to Ray Little. <laughs> Very weird till damage. Uh, Sun has one more turn and so does Trick Room. Um, let's go ahead and use Ancient Power on Metagross. And I'll continue using Knock Off on Dust Claws. Nightshade. Not enough. Stomping Tantrum. That's not going to be enough. It's really close. It is super effective, but the dragon typing didn't make it so he survives. Ancient power. Hubble, what? Is that like nothing? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Sun's faded. Mansions return to normal, and you don't have Trick Room now. Some Moongus, Lair Blitz. I wonder. Let's swap to Mouse Hold. And And let's swap to walking weight. Yeah, let's swap our Pokemon. These two have done uh, enough. I kind of want to know if Metagross has Bullet Punch. I want to say he has a priority move. I don't know what. Yep, there it is. I knew it. I knew it. All in Puff. Over on the Metagross. Gonna heal it for a bunch. Absolutely heals it for a bunch. Now. Let's go ahead and activate Sunny Day. And. Use the Weather Ball. On a Moongus. Saw that coming. Absolutely saw that coming. So let's activate Protosynthesis. Special attack was heightened. And eat a weather ball. Right into that Moongus. Get out of here. <laughs> like, I knew it was going to happen. It's like, I don't really want to. Uh, Heavy Slam is going to take out Mousehold, which is unfortunate. Now I can bring out Great Tusk. With this attack being really, really high and then halved and then 30% of that. Ooh, Raging Bolt. That's dope. And your special attack was heightened. That's even better. Let's just go ahead and activate uh, that. And... Swap out to Gouging Fire so that I can swap out from Weather Ball. Now, Rock Slide isn't going to do a ton of damage, and I'm okay with that. But I cannot Terra on. Oh, there's Thunderclap. But it failed. Full punch. Not enough to get the KO. But pretty close. Here comes the rock slide, though. Here 
There's that. I think they got this one. Here comes Thunderclap. Bullet Punch is gonna knock out, uh... I was like, oh, did it miss? I mean, that's like, that would... That'd be really unfortunate. Okay. Fucking wake. turns, but this is a very crucial turn. Let's do that. Hydra Steam. Thunderclap's been used four times. I can already assume that it's good about up to eight because it's Sucker Punch, but for electric types. I did a lot of damage before, so he's probably going to knock me out here, which is unfortunate. Uh, how long is the sun? It was the last turn of sun. Yeah, let's go all out. Let's try it. And I turn terraform into ground. I wish. <laughs> I wish. That'd be so funny. It'll lead you into a false sense of direction. Oh, protect. Okay. I wish I could go through protect. That would have been dope. But no. That would have been dope. Ah, booster energy. Okay. Thunderclap. Ah. Yeah, it's like ah. the only way I'd be able to survive that if I was actually Terra Ground. <laughs> but not bad though. So we are seeing we're kind of where the team kind of falls apart a little bit. There is a lot of people that have like the same like typings, right? So while Great Tusk is like ground fire, we do have Walking Wake and Gouging Fire that not only share dragon, but they also share common weaknesses between the two. Walking Wake, even though he's Terra Water, does get screwed over by a lot of electrical attacks and even fairy attacks. So even though that he is Water Dragon, he's still going to struggle against like really good moves, especially against Raging Bolt. Is there a way that we can counter these? Absolutely. There are lots of different ways that we can counter other Pokemon. Now that we've kind of gotten like a gander of where all the Pokemon stand still, we can actually take this time and start changing things around, especially for season 14. And I'm actually really, really excited about the team now. Uh, Whimsicott is a little iffy, but it's still in the testing phase. So I don't want to say like, oh, this team's really, really bad. And I need to switch out one Whim Whimsicott for something I'm a little bit more comfortable with. Like, that doesn't really help the team. I need to give it its chance and see what I could do to master it. And if I feel like if I can't make any significant difference, I will do my best to rectify the situation and change things as I need to. But it is going to be our first team that will be premiering for two weeks and then switching over to another team for that two weeks. How about a, a rain team trick room team? <laughs> Why not? I have Sun Tailwind. Let's do the exact opposite. A Rain Team Trick Room Team. And see what happens. 
God, I'm such a dork. All right, guys, that's going to be uh, it for today's battles. And I'm hoping you guys like the uh, show so far. If you guys don't mind, go ahead and just leave a like on the video and subscribe if you were brand new. It does help out. And my buddy told me, I don't, leave me, let me know down below, right? He told me that YouTube does this thing, right? That if people do this like and subscribe stuff, that it starts highlighting down on the bottom of the screen next to my name. I don't know if that's true. I'm gonna say it again. Please like and subscribe. And if it does light up, let me don't let me know in the comments because I think that'd be dope. And if it doesn't, YouTube get on that stuff because that'd be cool. Because when people say like and subscribe, it would just like kind of bump up and down. Like it's just a really cool thing and just lights up like it's a final stage, like a Mario level or whatnot. That'd be dope. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Most likely on the 4th, <laughs> uh, where we premiere the team on the official ladder. And I'll see you more after that. Like, I'm super excited about this team. More to come. I'll see uh, Until next time, though, I'll see you then. Have a great one. And uh, I'm out. Peace. <laughs>